Assalamualaikum and a very good day everyone Welcome to the first lesson video for chapter 9 Reproduction and Development Okay, In this part of the lesson video We are going to first focus on the planned sexual reproduction Okay, By means of sexual reproduction uh, We are actually going to try and understand the process of fertilization Okay when it comes to fertilization, it means it involves the gametes, okay, both the male and female, of course, okay. Uh, however, we have to first understand how do these male and female gametes are produced, okay. So, to produce a male and female gamete, usually a plant requires the gametophyte okay what is gametophyte you ask that's a good question that is what we are going to focus in the lecture in the next minute right so within this uh, lecture you are going to um, you are going to um, highlight about for example male gametophyte as shown in this picture, amazing photo, is pollen grains. Okay, uh, this structure known as the anther, okay, is where the pollen grains will be found at. Okay, and then um, for female, on the other hand, we have ovules. Okay, in which within each ovule will contain the female mega sporangium. So, so far we have come across in, uh, terms like sporangium, gametophyte and gametes. Okay, we as well will go through sporocyte and spores. Okay, so the learning outcome. Okay, the learning outcome of today's uh, lesson video is for you to be able to state and define the terminologies involved in gamete formation for flowering plants. Okay. Before going into detail of the process, okay, terms. So in male um, sexual reproduction, gamete production, uh, gamete production. So you will begin from the structure called the anthers, as mentioned earlier. Okay, so within every anthers, there are pollen sacs. Okay, so these pollen sacs are found. Uh, they actually are chambers. Chambers we can consider as spaces. The empty spaces um, so within each of these chambers uh, they will uh, be uh, cells that are responsible to produce and uh, the pollen okay so pollen sacs are the chambers where the pollens are found and produced okay next when we zoom into the detailed structure of each pollen sac, as I mentioned earlier, where the pollen are formed, okay, so we will come across these uh, cells in which are called the microsporocyte. Okay, microsporocyte are diploid cell. Okay, so they are also known as the pollen mother cell okay so they will divide okay uh, and eventually will produce four microspores okay so microspores next what is microspores okay so microspores are actually uh, an immature uh, cells Okay, they are haploid. Okay, these are one example of the microspores. Okay, uh, they are haploid, so they will usually divide. Okay, and uh, grow into the male gametophyte. Okay, so within each microsporocyte, there are four of them as a result of the meiosis. So this group of four is known as tetrad. Okay, are you following? I hope so, right? So, um, so each of these 
microspore within the tetrad uh, will continue to divide. Okay. Shown here, when the enter matures, okay, so four of the microspores of a tetrad separate from each other. Okay, so they become separated. And then once they're separated, they will undergo mitotic division. Mitosis, right? So through mitosis, they are forming the male gametophyte, okay? Which are, uh, which contain haploid nucleus, but there are two of them. Because it's mitosis, so each of them originally was one nucleus. So with mitotic division, end up with two. And this structure is the pollen grain. Okay, which are found on the enter. Okay, once this pollen grain uh, become mature, okay, so these two nucleus are known as tube cell and generative cell. Okay, that will further divide. Okay, for tube cell, they are responsible to divide to form the pollen tube. This is critical during the the transfer of the male gametes to the female gametes right and then on the other hand the other nucleus uh, is called generative cell so uh, after successful pollination so this generative cell is the the one that will divide uh, again through mitosis and end up forming two sperm nuclei Since I mentioned pollination, okay, so pollination basically are the process of transfer, okay, when, uh, so pollination is transfer, okay, transfer, what is it being transferred is the male uh, gametophyte, remember what the gametophyte is, yes, it's the Right, so when the female gametophyte are transferred uh, to the, with the help of bees, okay, so they will transfer the male gamete uh, towards the female gamete. Okay, so then they will eventually fertilize. That means they fuse. Okay. So uh, the female gamete... Uh, on the other hand, are formed within the female reproductive structure. So shown here is the structure of the flower, okay, which serve as the reproductive organ of every angiosperms. Okay, so uh, the enter, which is the male, are uh, found uh, project out, out out of the flower, but deep within uh, is the ovary. Okay, and then. Uh, when the male gamete uh, transfer is towards this uh, female structure so within every ovary there will be ovules okay ovules serve as actually within ovules there are female megasporangium okay so megasporangium are uh, one of the structure in the female reproductive uh, that produces a uh, megaspore uh, and eventually will lead to the formation of female gametophyte. Right, so shown here uh, is the megaspore mother cell and megaspores. Okay, basic definition of these two are the same as the male. Okay, in terms of term, mega is for female while the micro is for the male. Right, so... Um, Megaspores uh, are the structure that give rise to the uh, megasporo, sorry, mega, female mega, sorry, female gametophyte. Okay, so female gametophyte shown here is the uh, embryo sac. Okay, so embryo sac in female uh, contain eight nucleus. Uh, three of them are called antipodal. They are found on opposite to the micropyle. So micropyle is here. It's like an opening. 
uh, on the embryo sac so opposite of it are uh, antipodal and then two of other nucleus are called polar nuclei so they are found at the center of the embryo sac another two is called synergid okay that are uh, these cells are closely associated to the uh, female gamete so they usually flank both of them will flank the egg cell where where they, this means that the egg cell are found in between them so this single cell nucleus in the middle uh, near the mycopa is the egg cell so this is the mature um, female gametes found in plants so uh, these are basically the terms and uh, that you will come across throughout the, the chapter uh, so that's it for this part so hopefully you uh, you are able to define and state these terms and we will go to the details of the formation of the process on the next lesson video